Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the new video. In today's video, I'll be walking you through the Weeble desktop platform. We'll be going through how to make custom layouts, customize your charts, add indicators, add alerts, do stock screeners, and I'll just show you how to use all the features that the Weeble desktop platform has. And just super quickly before we get started, if you aren't a Weeble user yet, but you're thinking about getting started with some investing, I'll drop my Weeble affiliate link below where you can get a $100 deposit bonus. You can get that little bonus to help you get started and use the awesome platforms that Weeble has. With that said, let's jump into it. All right, so our first step is going to be downloading the Weeble software onto your computer. Now, just on a browser here, we'll go to Weeble.ca to make sure we're getting onto the Canadian website. Then up over on the top, you'll be able to see trading platforms and we want to go to Weeble desktop here. Now, after you've selected that, you'll have the option for Mac or Windows download. So obviously download based on your respective platform. I'll be using it for the Mac, so I will download it here and just click that. And there we go. That download will start and then you can save it to your downloads there. Now, before I go any further, nothing in this video is financial advice. Any stocks I use or mention as examples here are purely examples. Any investing you do will carry risk and you might lose your money. So just be careful and make sure you know the risks of your investments before you get into them. But none of this is financial advice. Here we are in the Weeble app. Let's go through this top menu bar and just look through what we can see right now. So we have our search and view in stocks button. So I can look up NVIDIA and bring that up here. As you can see, that star indicates it's already on a watch list. But if I were to click that, it would open it in our next tab down, our stocks tab where we can see the stocks. We'll get into this tab a bit later, but that's what the search feature can do. Next to that search, we've got our promotion center. This is for different referrals or different promotions Weeble may be offering at the moment. As you can see those here, this shows any minimized widgets we might have open. Here is our button to add widgets onto our screen. If we wanna add them, you can add an options window and that will literally pop right up Weeble makes it nice and easy. It's floating now, so I can add this or I can move it to the side like it looks like there. After our add widgets, we have our messages function. This can give you different price alerts for stocks you've set, your stock essentials if you want different newsletters on the economic calendars, that kind of stuff. Again, some more promotions from Weeble, corporate actions reminder about any dividends or different corporate actions for stocks you care about. Weeble option education, so we've got a bunch of other stuff going on down here. And to the right here, we have an unlock for trading button just to unlock your account for any trading and buy and sell orders that you want to do. All right. And then on my Mac here, if I just zoom up and above, we have our Weeble desktop. We can open up different preferences, services, and other options here. Windows, if you want to create a new window and maybe put it on a different monitor, here you can hit create a new window and that'll make a pop out of this window. And then you can drag and drop that to another monitor. It'll have two different instances open there. And when you quit Weeble and open it back up again, it will save. So you don't have to worry about that at all. It'll save just as you had it, which is super nice. I love that feature. And then over it, we have layouts. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to reset this current layout here, get it back to just my watch list that I wanted there. And then widgets and then hotkeys as well. Now on our left-hand side, which we'll get into the details of later, we've got our watch list tab that we're on now. We have stocks, markets, screeners, our custom layouts tab, our account tab, paper trading, options trading, and our starter tab, as well as a learning center tab, contact us tab if you need help, and your settings down below. Within our watch list tabs here, let's look at what our options are. This three bar on the top left side here, if we click that, it allows us to select or deselect different items about the stock that we have available in our watch list that we're looking at. So if I uncheck name, that name section will go away and I can recheck it and it'll come back. So you can adjust any information that you want to see quickly or that you don't want to see at all. You can remove that and fully customize that. And you can always hit reset to defaults if you want. Because right now, if I scroll horizontally on my watch list, I have a lot of different information about these stocks, which is great. Then maybe I want to simplify it and I don't want all of that. With that being said, let's look at how we create a new watch list. So in the top right corner here, we'll go add watch list. We can click that and then we can make a name. There we go. We can hit OK and then that'll open up here in a tab. So we can click that and then we can click add symbol right there in the middle. We've already got Apple. Let's add Tesla to our watch list. This star means it's on some other watch list. But if I click that star, I can then add it to the sample watch list. And there it is. Let's add something else. Maybe let's add some Berkshire Hathaway. We'll add that to our watch list as well. 
there we go so we've got our two stocks in the watch list now if you made a watch list that you don't want anymore and you want to delete it just simply go to the top right corner here three horizontal bars click that and then you go down to edit watch list. And then you can steer different watch lists here. And then you can click that little trash button and that'll delete your watch list. But I'll keep this one up for this video. Now on any of these watch lists here, if I double click that, I can be taken down into the stock tab where I can see the stocks chart and more information there. Now Weeble has different default layouts that kind of are represented by each tab that we'll go through. Now I won't repeat this information. So I'll just go through for the stock tab here but this also does apply to all the other tabs below as well. So what's nice is it comes with this nice pre-built layout. You have all these options, a nice watch list tab, got your time and sales, your order book, a spot to place order, view your orders. It kind of has a nice little bit of everything here. But if you're like, oh, I want my watch list a little bigger, just come to the edge of the watch list and the chart. You can click and then you can drag and you can totally adjust and make those bigger. And also if you're like, oh, I'm missing a widget that I want, click those three bars, go add a widget, um, let's see all widgets and see the options we have quite a bit here that Weeble offers us. We'll say we want an option screener on. So we'll click that little plus and there we are. That option screener is now on our screen and we can just simply click and add it in. So that comes onto our screen there just like that. And then again, we can go to layouts, reset current layout. And that'll go back to how it was before. Moving down the list, we have our markets tab. Now, because we're in Canada, it shows the Canada um, markets here, the S&P TSX composite versus the venture versus the top 60, just shows how those have performed over the past trading day here. And we've got the United States advanced and decliners little market indicator here. So that's pretty cool. So lots of information here on this on this page of different gainers, popular stocks, top options that you can, of course, customize and adjust if you do want these windows changed or adjusted in any way. Now here we are moving down into our screener tab, quite a bit of information, but let's look at how we would build our own custom stock screener if we wanted that. Starting top left, we have our filters option here where you can check and uncheck different buttons and filters that you want. We'll turn earnings per share on and then you can change all those options there. Our region, we'll make our market cap 1 billion to 5 billion, our percent change, We'll adjust that. We don't want any losers. We also have technical indicators too. So we can say our price is above our moving average 20 and we'll go done. And then that'll create all those stocks here. Now, once you have your screener all built and you like the settings, you can save your screener to say, we'll say this is screener one and we'll go save. And that will save to your My Screeners tab here. So you can quickly kind of check and click through and see the different screeners and the stocks that are now showing up with that different filter set. So super cool. And then once you have your stocks here, you can click quickly go create a watch list and we'll go screener one watch list and that will go okay. And then that'll show up there in our watch list tab and our watch list widget anywhere else on our custom layouts. Very similar idea with your options screener here, but you will need to subscribe to real time quotes to access the data. Honestly, if you're doing any options training, I'd highly, highly recommend you subscribe to that real time data because it's 15 minutes delayed and option spreads can change a lot. It could be really costly if you can't see the real lifetime prices when you're putting in orders. It's only three bucks USD with Weeble, so it's really not too bad. And if you're trading options, that's definitely not a cost that you should cut out. Further in this tab, we have top options where we can filter by different criteria here. Our top gainers, top losers, active, 52 weeks, ETFs. There is a lot of options to find different stocks for investments or trading. All right, and now moving down one more to our custom layouts here. This is one of my favorite tabs because you can just make it however you want. So let's run through. I have my one layout, but let's make a brand new one here. I'll show you how it's done. Now, we will have some different default layouts if you want to use those here, but we'll create our own blank one. So let's quickly go blank layout. Then our widget box already pops up. Let's throw a chart on there so we can throw that chart then we can make it pretty big. I want a nice big chart to use. So we'll make it about there. Let's put our time in sales, do some order entry, stock financials, watch list and clock. Now that we have all these widgets here, we can adjust them to size of how we want them. So you can just click and drag the corner and that'll make it fully adjustable. So I wanna have my time in sales kind of like that. 
All right, here we go. There's a little example layout build. Now, if you like your layout that you've made, you wanna to go top right and go save as a customized layout. And we'll just say example layout and we can go save. So say you're in an old layout and you wanna change back to your saved one, make sure to go to all. And then we have example layout. We can click that, exit out of our old one. And there we are back in our newly made layout. Now, one thing that's important when thinking about layouts is using your tab groups. Tab groups are how we link all of our different widgets together so that they can sync across each other here. I wanna be able to click Tesla on my watch list and have that pop up right on my chart there. But if they're not linked in the same group, that won't happen. Now, what we can do on our chart widget here, we'll go up to this little box next to the three bars and we'll go set as group. So you can group them inside the layout as we're doing here, or you can group them across different layouts, but we're not gonna mess with any of that stuff right now. We'll keep it simple and just group inside the layout. Now, what I wanna do is make this chart number one. So I will group it into group one right there. Now for the time and sales, I need to do the same thing. For my watch list, I'll repeat the same thing as well. Set that group one. Order entry, set as group one. And the financials, set as group one. Now, what this does is they're all linked together now. So I can click Apple on my watch list here, and that'll change the chart, that'll change the time and sales, and these other two widgets here all to information about Apple. They all stay in sync. Because what happens if I set this to a second group and I change it, I have an NVIDIA, all the group ones will update, but when I go for an order entry, it's still Apple because it's not in the right group. So you wanna make sure those are all in the same group. Obviously you have seven different group options. If you're someone with eight different screens, you can really make this complex and have a bunch of different charts up, a bunch of different groups. You can make it super complex or you can keep it nice and simple with the one laptop screen, which is what I personally like to do there. Okay, so now that you understand groups, let's look at the different charting features that Rebel has in their charts here. We'll just start from the top left. We have our indicators that can be hidden or shown here, and it has some common ones that pop up kind of across the top. We'll start with a moving average, and that just automatically fills on our chart. Now, if you want to adjust that moving average, we can come in here and it provides us with six different options for different lengths we can do. I like these lengths, so we'll keep them on there. And then you can click and select them on their chart. So they all show up, change the color of them. It also has a little introduction if you don't understand the technical indicator, because there are lots of different ones. I don't even know all these. They kind of get crazy. And then we can go done. So we have our moving averages here. If you want to hide any indicators, you can always click that little eyeball and then you can access more indicators here. So you've got indicator settings. You've got all your technical indicators here in this window and your technical signals as well if you want those on your chart. Now moving over, we have our drawings here. So if we click that, it'll open up this tab. We've got different trend lines, which we can click and drag like that. Horizontal lines, vertical lines, extended. You've got all your different trend lines here rectangles, fixed range volume profiles. If you want to select that and see the volume for this profile, your Fibonacci retracements, your different text. So you can draw a little text box here. And then if your chart gets too messy, you can quickly go delete all and that'll be cleared out for you there. So we've got a line chart, area charts, and some different options for your charts there. And now you have grid. So if you want to open multiple charts for the same or a different stock, you can open that up here too. So we'll make this Apple. If you want to see what the spy is doing and also compare it to Apple, you can have both of those options open and you can even go to three by three charts. You can open quite a bit of charts here on Weeble. That's kind of information overload for me. So we'll keep it just as two for now. And you can sync the different symbols, times, indicators. So those all stay the same there, even your crosshair as well. And then you can do a comparison between two stocks here where the Apple and the Dow Jones so you can see how those two traded and compared against each other, which I think is a pretty cool feature there. And your chart layout button is that little cloud here where you can save or delete different layouts that you've made. And Weeble also has a replay mode so you can adjust the time of day, the different speed to see how price moves. Weeble really has it all. So that's pretty cool to me. And now pretty important, I should have mentioned this earlier. If you want to see the different price ranges, you have one day here. This will show you the whole day's worth of price action on the minute chart there. And also if you wanna change the interval of the candles themselves, you can click through the one minute, one hour, daily, weekly, 
monthly, and then just add a star next to the time frame that you want, and it'll show up on the bottom bar so that you can access it nice and easily there. Yo, it's Editor Lincoln. One thing that I realized I forgot to do while recording was teaching you guys how to set alerts. So I thought I'd run through a couple of ways to set alerts really quickly here. So I'm back here in my custom tab. Now we've got the Tesla one minute chart open. So on your charts here, one way to set alert is using this little plus icon. So say we want an alert when Tesla comes above this moving average, we will come here and we'll go create alert above and then boom, that was set successfully. So we'll get an alert there. Now, if you want to see your alerts, you can click this little bell top left next to the ticker's name and news. And then that'll tell you the alerts that you've gotten from this ticker today. So that's pretty cool. Then another way to set alerts on our watch list here, say we have Tesla, we'll go to those three little dots top left and we will go create an alert. Here, it's gonna give us a lot more options. So we can have price above or price below a certain number and set an alert there. We can have news and movement alerts. So if there's a certain amount of volume, different news headlines, sharp rise or falls if you're watching a stock, schedule price alert, and then you can adjust how frequently your alerts pop up. If it's once a day after the close, that kind of stuff, you can see all those options here. And then Webull also pretty cool has technical indicator alerts. So for example, we'll do a little EMA on the daily EMA, the daily 10 EMA. If the value is above what's Tesla at right now, 429. So if the value is above 420, we can set an alert there too. And then newly generated signals are sent after market closes. You can check that off and change your frequency and just click save and set alerts like that. So yeah, just want to make sure we didn't miss that. All right, back to the main recording. So moving on from our custom tab here, we have our account tab. Now here's where it'll ask for your trading password, which I can put mine in here. Now here we are, it'll show you your account value. You can change that to US dollar or Canadian. You have your account history for your deposits. You can do a currency exchange here. See your p and I don't have any because I haven't made any trades in this specific account. Got your positions, your orders, and all of that information here. So it just provides a nice overall account view. If you want to check that quickly there moving on from this tab we have our paper trading view so weevil has a great paper trading feature if you want to try out any strategies or just kind of learn the software yourself without risking any real money by pressing the wrong button so all these paper trading windows will be indicated by this pm button here which is super nice you know you're not in a live account your live account trading actually does get locked when you go into paper trading so that's super nice and helpful there keeps everything safe to make sure nothing is being mixed up. Now, one quick thing to highlight, here's your paper account detail. Same rules apply on the paper account. You can adjust any of your widgets and everything like that. But if you want to reset the amount you have, you just simply click reset here, adjust your balance like this. So you just want 10,000 to play with. You can adjust your amount to 10,000 just like that. Now, the next tab down is options trader. So this is just another quick pre-built tab. If you want to check the options for a stock right here, it's got your different watches here. So you can just click on the stock on your watch list and add them on in. And moving on to our last tab, it's a starter tab. This again is just like a nice little breakdown of everything you might need. You've got your chart, options, quotes, watch lists, news, order entries, positions, everything you might need to kind of monitor your positions in the market. So it's just another nice pre-built tab for you there. I haven't mentioned it yet, but on the bottom, by default, we have our recently viewed stock. So it'll just flash through the tickers here as well as the local time. And if you click this little button here, bottom left, you can select the watch list that you want to view the stocks of. So you can always have a view of those. No matter what tab you're in, it'll show those prices there, which is pretty cool. And then a couple more quick things to highlight. We have our learning tab here. So if you want to see some more information about the Webull desktop app, you can do that here. And then you also have your settings tab here, bottom left, where you can go through and adjust any of these settings here. All right, so that's it for the Webull desktop. Please let me know any questions you have down below. I would love to hear them. So one thing I want to quickly highlight is the learn section of Webull's website. There are quite a few resources on a wide variety of topics. If it's options, learning about different platforms or investing strategies on the Webull website here. So make sure to definitely check that out if you are curious. And as I mentioned at the start of the video, if you haven't opened a Webull account yet and you want a little bonus extra money, to help you get started on those investments, make sure to use my link down below to get that deposit bonus for your account when you sign up. All right, that'll be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.